Hello, and welcome to Jinji Games. Today, I'll be teaching you how to create your own Minecraft mod. Now, I know most people saying, oh, I'd love to make a mod. But before you do, you need to have make sure you know these two things. You have the JDK installed if you're on Windows. If you haven't got this installed, please click my video, which will show up now. And this will take you through the tutorial on how to do it. It's pretty simple. And second thing is you need to have some basic knowledge of Java. The more no knowledge you have, the better, because you may, may be able to make better mods. Simple as that. So what I'm, what I'm going to do, do now is give you a link to my videos, which I've done. They're not that good, but <laughs> yeah, they'll be good enough to start you off. And if you want some actual books to learn from, like I did, I'll give a link in the description below on how to learn it. So after you've done all that, good. Now let's go and start making a mod. Well, installing the Minecraft Coder Pack. Now the Minecraft Coder Pack is um, or a program which allows you to well create classes and for your Minecraft mod. So to get it, all you have to do is you type in MCP Minecraft, and there we go. It's the first result usually, and it, just to make sure, is it's it, that's what it is. Um, to make sure, if you can't read the text at all, use full screen and then use 720p. I should be uploading these in 720p. It'll be much better quality, and it'll be easier to see. Now, just download the file here, this one, the latest one, and this will only work with the latest version of Minecraft. To point out. So if you're using an earlier version, it'll only work with an early version of Minecraft. Make sense? Yeah. And one other point to make out is it says you need Python installed on Mac OS X and, and Linux. So make sure you've got that version of Python. And on Windows it says it's optional anyway. After you downloaded that, place it into a folder where you're going to work with it. So I've placed mine here. And that's all the files inside it. After you've done that, the next thing we need to download is the mod loader. We enter that and it should be there. Inside, um, go here and click direct download because it's direct or you can click that one, either one. But um, download it and put it in another folder. I've put mine here and there's all the classes for it. And then you should be done. All right, now all you have to do is close all that down. Is all right, just okay. It is the first thing you have to do. <laughs> yeah, open up Minecraft, it helps, and then click options, force update. This will download all the jar files again and all, all the files for Minecraft and make it vanilla. So if you've got any mods, they'll go away. I'm sorry, but you, to make a mod, you need it to be in vanilla mode and the only mod you're allowed to install is mod loader now mod loader isn't there because if you want to add more mods to minecraft if you make your mod mod loader compatible that means it won't interfere with any other mod pretty simple so just click force update login and it should be updating minecraft now Just wait a little while. Yeah, um, so how are you, everyone? Good, good, good. Yeah, okay, it's done. So there you go, it's all done and dusted. Now, you want to know where those jar files are downloaded. Now, they're kept in your Minecraft folder. Now, this is my Minecraft folder. And to find yours, if you're on a Mac, just go to your hard drive then click on users, then your user. Then click library, then application support, then Minecraft. And then you'll be taken to this folder. To get to this folder on Windows, type in percent app data percent. And this will take you to a f another folder. And you, t sorry, you type that into run. And to get to run, you just click start, run, and then type that in. And you type that in, 
and then you click the folder called .minecraft and in, this is .minecraft here and when you're in this folder on either operating system click bin and your jars will be in there just forget about them, they're not there, they're just for me <laughs> they're just because I can downgrade and everything but what you do is you highlight all these files here copy them and then go into your MCP folder so this is what it looks like so I'm, I might be rushing you here but I'm trying to keep to a low time time for this YouTube video so yeah so when you go into your MCP folder click jars now click new folder make make a new folder and type it call it bin so just like the same where this is from and then place those files back in there now this is for making a client mod, not a server mod. If you're making a server mod, place the Minecraft serve.jar file in here, in here without the bin. And you should be good to go. Now all you have to do, is I've closed down my bin folder because I won't need that again, is now you need to open either up CMD or terminal. Actually no, if you're on Windows it's dead simple. If you're on Mac and Linux you have to open up on terminal. So go on to Spotlight or whatever search thing you use. Is it Alfred or I don't know. And type in terminal. And we get to here. It says I've got new mail. <gasps> I bet I have actually. Okay. And all I have to do now is I need to change my directory to the same directory as the MCP one. To do this you just type in, and you do this, you just type in CD, space, and then drag your folder across, and then click enter. Now I'm working in that folder. Pretty simple, isn't it? Next, all I have to do, on Windows, you've got it sim easy. You just have to click dot .bat, the dot .bat files, but in the same order as I do, but I have to use the dot .sh files. The .sh, be quiet, instead of files. <laughs> uh, okay, all you have to do is you drag these files across so the first one you have to do for Windows you just click just click that and for, but for Mac and Linux all you do is you drag the this into your terminal and do update MCP and then click enter your MCP should be up to date but I know because we downloaded it already but just click yes type in yes click enter and it's updated now just just make sure and now because we've got all those jar files in there, here, yeah, yeah. To actually mod it, we need to do one thing. I forgot, just I think I haven't done this yet, no. Now, I'd use WinZip, and on Windows you can use it. It's just a bit easier than doing loads of code. Right click your Minecraft jar file, and then I'll open it with um, WinZip. So then all you do is you get your mod loader files. Highlight them, da -da, and drag them in. And this is because Minecraft.jar is actually a zip folder, and it's it's just kind of got a different extension on. But Java actually understands that yes, this is a zip folder. It's trying to save on space, but it can do it. Hey presto! So all you do is you drag in all your mod load of stuff, and there you go. And then the last thing you have to do is. Get into you, go in here and search for meta-inf, then delete that. Click delete. It's deleting it. And hey presto, it's done. Now, you have to delete meta-inf because it checks for it. It's checking if the, all the files are in there and they're not corrupted or anything. It checks in meta-inf meta to see if they are all right. There's like a check, it's like uh, a check sheet folder, in a sense. <laughs> And that's wrong, but just follow me. And um, if you delete it, it doesn't have a check sheet, so it can't tell if it's wrong. If you if you have that in and you've got mod loader on, it's going to have a black screen every time you load Minecraft. So just close it up, like so. And now we get to decompile Minecraft. So keeping this still up here, we drag the decompile sh file. Oh, or you click the bat file if you're on Windows. And click enter. And let's go. Now it's decompiling it on it will open up RetroGuard and that's fine. That's normal. And it's doing it blah blah blah. Uh, it's going doing this. It's 
decompiling it. Ooh. Now it says I've got some errors. That's normal. I, I get them every time, but I never actually get them when I'm doing it. Okay, doing it now. Come on. Done. Now you've decompiled all your files from it. Now to find them, just go to your source folder, which is here. So, shrek. I don't know, source for short. And it's in Minecraft, and all the files for Minecraft are here. <gasps> all of them. It's amazing, isn't it? So that's all the files you'll ever need. So I'll teach you in the next tutorial how to cr make your own mod and put them in here. At the moment, I will um, just teach you, before I actually install it, teach you how to play Minecraft as a tester thing through here now. All you have to do is you click, use, click the recompile folder or drag this one into terminal, click enter, and this recompiles all the decompiled stuff and you're able to play it again. So blah blah blah, so if you've made any mods for it you can do that. Done. Now to play Minecraft, you just click use click the start client folder got file and use that one instead. It should be open it up and look, Minecraft works. Now after if you play it for too long, a skeleton popped out. But still, um if you play it for too long, it says it's an unregistered version and everything. But that's fine. But um that's normal and everything, that's because you're still testing it. it doesn't matter. So we just create new world, create new world again and this is just to test if it actually works or not yep uh, hey there we go see and it works we're in this snowy place yeah so that's the end for this tutorial tune in next time to learn actually how to create the minecraft mod which i'm going to teach you how to make speed sand and you might have noticed the png files there so, tune in next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.